All of us have experienced some kind of traumatic or shocking event in our lives. When, when I say traumatic events, I don't only mean extreme experiences you know, such as war, natural disasters, abuse, sexual violence, torture, and extreme accidents but also other events such as isolations imposed by the coronavirus lockdown can be as well traumatic and profoundly distressing for some people. Because the way we respond to events is unique for each person. So we should be very careful about judging others when it comes to our response to any events. Every person is different and possess different level of sensitivities. According to psychology, a traumatic experience is anything that seriously threatens your emotional, psychological, or physical well-being. Um, essentially, Trauma is anything that causes us to feel like we are losing or have lost control. From my experience, it is important to accept that we are traumatized. But the danger here is when accepting that we are traumatized, is sometimes the tendency to adopt the role of victim, also known as victim mentality. Victim mentality is sometimes very harmful, disempowering, and addictive to start thinking of yourself as a person who is at the mercy of others or life in general. It's much more empowering to see yourself as a survivor than a victim. Trauma essentially happens when we feel totally powerless and are frozen internally into that state of being. When I realized that my power of healing is coming from within, I felt liberated and the healing process was accelerated. Whatever goes on in your outer world is nothing compared to the courage, clarity, and compassion that already exists within your soul. Learning how to tap into your inner strength is really about developing self-compassion. When you are able to access your self-compassion, you will discover that nothing can truly harm you because nothing can take away the untouchable divine strength of your inner self. When you realize that nothing can truly hurt you at your core, you will feel empowered and able to deal with anything that comes your way. Like, like most people, I have gone through traumatic experience, you know, such as emotional and physical abuse, abandoned by my mother, feeling hated by my father, still, the one that affected me the most is the death of my grandmother and my father, followed by the suicide of my older brother and the mysterious death of my beloved older sister in a period of a few years. It felt like my entire world had turned upside down. Two of the most powerful and life-changing tools I discovered during these dark times were self-love and questioning my thought. Learning to take care of myself with loving kindness and discovering that believing thoughts actually create suffering freed me from a lot of anger, fear, and shame. Here are some key ways to access your inner strength during period of extreme stress, illness, loss, vulnerability, or pain. Love and 
compassion. Treat yourself with love and compassion. Notice the tendency for the inner critic to start blaming you for not having it all together or for being weak. You know, fight that inner critic with kindness and encouraging words. You know, for example, you may say to yourself things such as, it is okay to feel this way. I am doing the best I can. I love you no matter what or I am here for you. Let's imagine you are speaking to a child who has experienced what you have gone through. How would you talk to that child? If it's help, address your kindness to your inner child. Treat yourself with love and compassion. And if you need more help learning how to be self-nurturing, explore psychological support you know, like therapy. Just feel it. Allow yourself to feel your emotion. One of the most significant causes of long-term suffering is the repression of our emotion. While it is not always possible to heal our emotion after a traumatic incident, it is vital at some point to re-experience anything that we have shut away inside of us. Whatever we repress or suppress tend to have a way of building up within us like a volcano lava. At some point, we need to let it out. Or it will happen regardless of our will because something has triggered us you need to find a controlled form of emotional release. As it says, to feel it is to heal it. For instance, you might seek out a therapist to speak with or practice journaling, explore a therapy, or even delve into more traditional form of, you know, release, you know, such as crying, screaming, or physical workout, you know, such as punching. I mean, for me, it's football. And as well, writing. Breathe deeply. During traumatic events, our mind tends to race and our breathing becomes shallow. The more shallow our breathing becomes, the more anxiety we feel and the more of our mind go crazy. And vice versa. To Break this loop, breathe slowly and softly and deeper into your stomach. Deep breathing sends signal to the brain to calm down. If you're struggling to breathe deeply, try noticing your inhale and as well your exhale. You know, mindfully focus on the sensation in your body and what it feels like to be scared. If you can, try to become curious about what is happening in your mind and body. And if you're feeling extremely tense, find one part of your body that feels relaxed and grounded. That could be, you know, your big toe, could be your earlobe, your hand, your shin, anything. Focus on this part of your body and feel the anxious energy dissipated within you. Breathing deeply and paying mindful attention help to create more space inside of you to calm down and become balanced again. Go slowly. Walking, moving, and speaking quickly tend to add to the stress we feel during painful events. Allow yourself to slow down and reduce the tempo Give yourself the space to process what is happening. Notice your addiction to speaking quickly and how it tends to cause the mind to get lost in the thought of past and as well the future. Do one thing at a time and ignore people who try to pressure you. Your health and mental well-being are paramount here. The world 
won't end if you slow down, but it will feel better to inhabit it. To stop self-victimizing, let go of self-victimizing thought. When we believe our thought, we suffer. But here is the thing, your thought don't actually mean anything about you unless you believe they do. Thoughts are simply changes in energy. We don't control our thought, otherwise don't you think we would always choose to think happy? We can't even predict what the next five thoughts in our head will be. Therefore, we don't control our thought. How can we actually be our thought? How can our thought be real? The root cause of all suffering is believing and identifying with the thought instead of witnessing them and let them go. When we experience trauma, the mind tends to create thought about how terrible our lives are and begin to create an identity around suffering, what is known as the victim complex. The moment we begin believing self-victimizing and self-pitying thought is the precise moment we experience intense suffering. But when we notice and become aware of this thought and don't identify with them, we don't suffer. Teach yourself to become aware of these interfering thoughts and realize that they only mean something if you believe they do. Otherwise, these thoughts come and go without hustle or worry. One of the best ways to stop identifying with your thought is through regular self-inquiry. Past triumph. Remember a situation in the past that you survived. If you're struggling to trust your inner strength, try recalling a tough situation in the past that you got through. Simply remembering that you got through something difficult in the past can help strengthen your resolve in the present. Ask for guidance. Asking for help isn't a sign of weakness. It is actually a sign of inner strength. When you seek help, you are being courageous and admitting that you don't have all the answers, which is perfectly normal. Try seeking support from a trusted loved one, a trained therapist, or praying or meditating. If you are in desperate need of guidance, I recommend seeking out a therapist. Time heals. Keep in mind that everything passes, no matter how much pain or suffering you are going through right now, remember that everything passes. I mean everything. Think back to a problem you had in the past, perhaps five or even ten years ago. Where is the problem now? By reminding yourself of the philosophy, this too shall pass you will bring yourself out of the narrow focus of the mind to see a bigger picture. Connect with your soul. Your soul is the very core and the essence of who you really are. It is the very center of your being, the place that is full of your own unique spark of divinity. Many describe the soul as a feeling of a deep inner knowing, deep self-love, boundless compassion, deep wisdom, and profound strength. The reason why so many of us feel lost in life is that we have lost touch with our soul essence, and as a result, experience soul loss. You know, how many times have you felt the longing to return home, to find inner, inner peace, to break free? There is a call from the soul inviting you back home. It is your soul trying to open a doorway to expanded consciousness, to wake you up out of the dream that so many of us fall into within this society. 
One of the simplest and most direct way to reconnect with your soul is through practice known as a mirror walk. You know, the mirror traditionally is a mystical object that shows us a reality, plain and clear. What better way to rediscover the truth of who you really are? When we glance into the mirror, we come in contact with the windows of our soul, the eyes. By gazing into our eyes and calling on the presence of our soul, it is quite easy to experience a sense of peace, well-being, trust, and love. Do you believe that you have a soul? And do you believe that you're still in contact with your soul? Share with us. Like and share this with you. And if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now. And also press the notification bell next to it. So that every time I have a new video, you will be notified and you can watch my video and also support my channel. Thank you and God bless you. Stay safe.